Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, I went to three different places. I got footage from one and I may or may not have bought anything from that place, but I got some really awesome books and I've got some really great vintage toys. So hopefully you guys enjoy the footage. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortboxed app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below to download the app and start shopping or selling today. I stopped at Destination Toy in Jacksonville, Illinois, and it was a, such a great shop. The first thing that you see when you walk in the door to the left are these comic books, and I had to definitely check out the Blackest Night Green Lantern. Goodness, I'm currently reading that Jeff Johns run. Just got done with Rebirth. So that's the return of Hal Jordan as well as the first trade. So the first six issues. And I'm excited to get to issue number whatever, 40 something where it starts Blackest Night. But of, of course, you've got Sinestra Core War in there, which is about issue 25 ish. So super excited to read all of that good stuff. Just some really random books in here. Some Hector Hammond, Man of Steel, um, New 52. That kind of looks like a variant. I'm not sure. Didn't really check too hard, but I was just checking out their comic book selection. They have some, you know, a nice mix of um, newer stuff, Bronze Age stuff. They even had some Golden Age stuff before. Just such a great shop. And then when I saw this Captain uh, Marvel, I was thinking about the, the new movie, The Marvels. And if there was any of those, that would be a spec book. Some nice Bronze Age Defenders there for pretty cheap four bucks there. Some Daredevil. Just some good stuff. Here's a look at some of their DC stuff on the wall. Um, there's some of those Superpower remakes that are out by McFarlane. And uh, yeah, just some pretty neat multiverse stuff. Batman v Superman. I love that um, Riddler up there. That's pretty cool. Then they've got a nice G.I. Joe section stuff. Some r really great vehicles stuff in the cases as well that you'll see here in just a second these pops in the case the, and there was um the darth vader from rogue one was just at a, a at a con recently and so they had a lot of stuff signed by darth vader which was pretty cool and in their case they used to have a really nice zip comics in here golden age i think it was like a 0.5 or a 1.0 had a big chunk off the corner missing but it was still a zip comics from the 1940s really nice book but they sold that one um, then I was looking at these things, like some kind of like GoBots or something like that. Maybe even Megazords. I'm not sure. I don't know Power Rangers all that well. And uh, this caught my eye. These were like pulp cards. So like Argosy pulp trading cards. But it was only like those four of them. And then the rest of them were Zorro cards. They had some cool like uh, movie posters, cards in the bottom um, sleeves. But I did not check those out. Halo stuff. These are some of the um, loose um, vehicles. And then they had some loose turtles, Power Rangers. And then the case behind me had some really cool G.I. Joe stuff. Now, this was very, very tempting. Um, but if you look at it uh, closer, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but you'll notice that the bubble is starting to come up on the left side there. So that was kind of a no-go. Um, yeah, the bubble is, is coming up on that Storm Shadow. But it's still really, really cool. And it looks great in that clamshell protector. Just not sure if I would want to, you know, get into something like that. So there's the big section of video games. And then this is like the main desk right here. Like the, the owner of the shop is like right behind this counter. So they've got some cool vintage figures, cool vintage um, vehicles. They were um, sorting out a G.I. Joe and Transformer collection right above this. So I wasn't able to get the top row of figures, which you can barely see right there. I wasn't really able to get like a view of all those, but they had a ton of them. And this is in the back room. So there's tons of uh, WWE, which I don't know what WWE is. It's WWF to me. And then they've got um, a ton of these Marvel Legends. 
Just great stuff. Uh, none of those ones are ones that I was really looking for or ones that I was looking to get my son, but it's just nice to know that they have uh, Marvel Legends in the shop. I love those 3.75 inch figures there in the back as well. And then they had a couple comics in the case here. Booster Gold number one, the first appearance of Booster Gold. What a great book. Also kind of a spec book at the moment for a Booster Gold TV show or a movie. Back room is kind of cool. Just tons and tons of toys. So if you're into toys, man, and you live anywhere in like central Illinois, this is definitely a place that you'd want to stop by. Check out in Jacksonville, Illinois. They had this Ghostbusters, um, the Ecto-1. I used to have that as a kid, loved it. Then they had these Motu figures, which I was really pumped about. And um, lots of great prices. Pretty clean figures, too. So I like those. They had all like the the vehicles or the, you know, like uh, the battle cat there. Then they had those carded Star Wars figures, Return of the Jedi figures in the background. Lots of just nice carded goodness on the wall. Those are the retro figure or the repro figures. And they had these Voltron carded figures, which was cool. They only had Pidge as far as the pilots go and dinosaurs not the mama who remembers dinosaurs that was a weird show on friday nights i believe i was really tempted to pick this up um i've not read heir to the empire and so i thought that was kind of cool for three bucks well read well loved which i would expect fully expect it to be there's a little bit more voltron goodness the yellow lion that looks really cool 400 bucks but that's pretty awesome and then in this back room is all that Star Wars stuff. So right below this shelf was where I was just looking at that Heir to the Empire figure. Nice black series. Vehicles. The Razor Crest. Really cool. Humongous toy set. Then all these carded Star Wars figures on the back wall. I think those are really neat. Those are the re repro ones like um, Andor... Um, Rise of Skywalker, blah, blah, blah. Then they had these $5 Attack of the Clones, um, Episode 1, some random books here. And then more, uh, Powers of the Force, Episode 1, Attack of the Clones. I was really looking for clone figures, the 3.75 inch clone figures. That's what I wanted to get. But they didn't really have many of those. They had a couple over here um, in like in these orange packs, which they're like uh, value packs. So they'd have two figures in one, so you'd get a clone with each. But I only wanted the clones, so I de definitely didn't go for those. And then that one, you get a battle droid and a clone. Okay, the real reason that I was in Jacksonville was because I had visited an antique shop. I made a short about it, and there was a couple pulp magazines. Well, I left my name and number for the vendor of those pulp magazines because I was like, do they have any more? Do they have any comic books? And sure enough, they had a whole stack more pulps. So I picked up a few of those. I was, I was kind of really picky on the ones that I wanted to pick up. I, I was really focused on just getting sci-fi ones. So these ones are really great. They're from the same better need or thrilling publications. And I was really happy to get these ones. So this is Startling Stories. I'm telling you guys, don't click off because these are pulps. Pulps are amazing artwork. This is probably Earl Berge from the 1940s. This is incredible. And so these will go really cool somehow, whether I decorate the wall or put these on a shelf or something like that. But these are such great, great covers. And I just love these startling stories. It would be like um, the pulp equivalent to startling comics, which are really cool. Here's another one. And these are so cheap. I paid 50 bucks for all four of these. Really great yellow cover, startling stories. Another really, really cool pulp right here. And this is from 1946. Not sure who the artist on this is, but if it's startling stories, most likely it's Earl Berge who's one of my favorite pulp artists. And then I got these two, which are really great. These are Fiction House publications. And this one is 
Planet Stories from January of 1951. January of 1951, really cool mythical bird there, which is awesome. And the lady's got some sort of like lightning rod that's sending a lightning bolt to that dude with the sword down there. So this is fantastic. So this would be the same, you know, the pulp equivalent for Fiction House for Planet Comics. So that's really, really great there as well. And the last one is another one that is kind of a no-brainer. Absolutely. Another Fiction House, Planet Stories. This is from Spring, and it's chipped off there at the bottom. So I can't really see when it is. I can open it up, though. This is from Spring of 1949. So you've got that Boy Scout-looking dude. That's quite the, that's quite the outfit on that guy military boy scout looking guy you've got the the girl in the yellow dress with some sort of glowing orb the flame jewel of the ancients these are absolutely incredible and so i'm really happy about these and then now i will show you the toys that i got so i was born in the early 80s and grew up watching like captain caveman i grew up watching smurfs and He-Man. I loved He-Man. I also watched um, reruns of the 1966 Batman. So Adam West and Burt Ward, absolutely fantastic. So today I went to Great River Collectibles in my hometown and I got a Castle Skull with the drawbridge. So this is really cool. There's really nothing inside. It's just the, it's just pretty much the, the frame of it. Um, all the accessories on the inside have been gutted out of this thing long ago but it's for display purposes only. And so I'm really excited about this. This was a 20 bucks. And so really wasn't that big of an investment, but I'm really excited about having this one in the collection. And then I got five figures, which I'm really excited about. First one I got was this really, really clean example of Buzz Off. As you know, Buzz Off is a hero. So really excited about that one. That one's really clean. And this one is from 19, 1983. I got this Prince Adam with the vest from 1981. So that's really neat. The legs are actually pretty decent. Not sure when this one is from, because it's really hard to read the, the back of him. But this Skeletor, Battle Armor Skeletor, is probably from 83, 84-ish. So that one looks pretty darn clean as well. Not a lot of like paint off of these one. I was I was really, really choosy when I went in there about which figures I wanted to buy. So that was a good looking one. This one is a Skeletor and I bought this one. Now this one's probably the roughest one. The legs are a little bit loose. They're a little bit wonky. Um, he's a little bit dirty, like scuffs on his legs. Maybe a little bit of like paint off of his face. But um, he had the armor here and I think that is really important. Nobody wants a shirtless Skeletor, so I thought that was really cool. And then I cannot remember what his cat is called, but um, pretty mangy looking, um, you know, Skeletor cat there. So I'm happy to have that one. And then I got this Battle Armor He-Man. This is from 1983. Battle Armor He-Man from 1983. And then I've got the battle cat with the full armor. So it was complete and that was really nice. So yeah, that is what I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little bit of something different still. Some great footage of a great toy shop. Some comics in there. Really picked up pulps. Don't sleep on pulps, you guys. Pulps are going to be the next big thing. And if you like great artwork, pulp covers are fantastic. And you can get those things for about 10 to 20 bucks and you won't have to like shell out hundreds of dollars, which you would for the comic book equivalent. So if you really like the golden age of comics and you're pretty much just buying it for the cover art, pulps are a great way to go because you can get amazing art, maybe even sometimes better artwork than the comic books for a fraction, a fraction of the price. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos, hit that thumbs up and comment down below. And I will talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.